Over a storied career spanning more than 30 years, Michigan master builder Rick Merlini has enjoyed unprecedented success as both president and CEO of his own American Heartland Homes and as an independent contractor. With the building of nearly 2,000 homes to his credit, Rick's passion and reputation for delivering quality and value are unmatched in the industry and best exemplified by the tale of not one, but two builds for Extreme Makeover Home Edition, whose producers don't choose just any builder. An emotional story is not enough for us. We need to find a builder in the community who responds to that story and who is willing to put their business on hold for not just the seven days that it takes for our build, but for the four weeks that it takes to prep this build. They need to call in all their favors from their subs, they need to shell out some of their own money. They need to put their family life on hold uh, for a little while, and, and they need to do all that just to help out a family in their community. When we look for a builder, we have to check their background. We have to make sure the county believes in them. We have to make sure they have a good record. We have to make sure they're building homes. They're not getting sued. You know, they're outstanding citizens, and that once they say yes, they're going to be there for you. Friends. We're faced today with an enormous challenge. And when we succeed, everywhere across this nation will see the heart that's in each and every one of you. But before we start this great deed, part of my heritage comes to mind. It's a very famous Italian composer named Puccini. We created a very famous piece of opera named No Sono Dogme. No Sono Dogme literally means no one will sleep. At the very end of the song, the man sings out, Vincero. And in Italian, Vincero means we will succeed. So all my friends here today, I say, Vincero, we will succeed. And succeed they did. With Rick at the helm, he and his crew not only built the finest quality home extreme makeover producers had ever seen, but did so in record time. Once we said go, these guys went. Your record was 94 hours yeah. at 3,300 square feet. We're gonna beat that, we're gonna do it in 90 hours. I would not have believed what I saw unless of course I saw it in person. This may look like day four, but this is day three. Less than 24 hours ago, this wasn't even here. I'm talking about a framed house on a foundation with windows in it, with a front door in it, with a roof on it. As of right now, we're 12 hours ahead of schedule. Yeah! What Rick pulled off in having that house to that stage, day three, incredible. My people are pumped up, everyone's pumped up, and we're just having fun yeah! doing this. I'm impressed, seriously impressed. It is incredible. I mean, you blink and you've missed something. The teamwork that's happened is phenomenal. The trades working together. I mean, usually that drywallers were competing against each other on their price. All of a sudden, they're working together side by side and blowing this house out in no time whatsoever. We asked people to build these homes in 106 hours. They built it in 53. I can't really wrap my head around that. The house in back of me usually isn't finished for two more days, and they're done. I mean, hello. Something magical started on Wednesday. It was the amount of enthusiasm and passion and teamwork I've never experienced before. Keep it up, guys. Smoke man. My concern was that the viewers at home who see a house go up in 53 hours would say, well, great, but what kind of quality is it? And then Rick said he'll guarantee it for 10 years. And I had home inspectors go through who said, it's rock solid. I've built 38 of these homes and this is the best quality I've seen on the show uh, to date. It was you guys as a team making me look good. Thank you very much, guys. Another side to father of three Rick Merlini and every extreme makeover story is one of heart, pride, inspiration, and an undying passion to do for others. We received a tape in our office uh, uh, from this community nominating the Gillum family for an extreme makeover. And we heard the story about how their father passed away suddenly over the holidays and how his passing away was linked back to the mold that was inside this house. 
and we found out that not only had the family lost their father, but Marianne and the kids had to move out of their house because of that mold. So they were fatherless and homeless, and we knew that this was a story we had to come and do. I have a real soft spot for children, and uh, if the tables were turned and I would pass away, and my wife and my kids were in Marianne's situation, I would hope that somebody would come in and do this for them. Are you guys ready to see what's behind that bus? Yeah! yeah. yeah. gift someone could ever give. Abigail broke my heart. She was genuinely very grateful. And uh, there's a girl that, because of her father's death, has had to grow up way faster than she really had to grow up. Second build? More of the same on both the production side. Hey, Todd. Yeah. I don't know if your playoffs is done, but I know my house is done. Move some furniture in. Are you serious? Yeah, Let's do it. Let's go get some furniture. And from the heart. Too many times in today that we're bombarded with tragic stories, and we sit back. Could we have helped? Could we have done something? Well, today you have that opportunity. I can't build this home alone. So, Charlotte. Will you help me build this home? Yeah! Rick Marlini gave an amazing speech. Here's this big guy, this big tough guy, but I'll tell you what, it's a big tough guy with a great big heart. I'll tell you what, if you love it, you definitely gotta thank the builder. The community has embraced me, everything in this build was donated. I was able to give back to a woman that's going to give back to the community. I really wonder who gets rewarded more, the person giving or the person receiving. King family, go check out your new Oh, thank you! Why anyone would give up a week of their lives go through the struggles that it takes to, to do this project, to deal with television production. You can't do it if you don't believe in it. Our builder here believes not only in helping a family, but in helping people, and in bringing communities together, and in building beautiful, quality homes, and creating neighborhoods. You know, that's what the heart and the soul of the show is all about. And, you know, you don't see Rick get emotional every day. He puts on um, a beautiful, beautiful show of strength and of, you know, um, charisma and still inside. He's as good as they get. He is salt of the earth. He is a hero. Let me tell you this right now. For this to get pulled off, it's not just one person. Not only do you need the construction side, you need the support side to the construction side. These are guardian angels for these families. No one gotten paid in this job. No one whatsoever has gotten paid for material or labor in this job. It was donated by the goodness of the people here. Just phenomenal how they stepped up to the plate and how the communities come together. And you can get a story like this, which is a feel-good story, and everybody that, that part of it just feels good, that's what it should be.